Hi, my name is Alex Kerlich with AugustinShow.com. You've heard the word LOX from a loan officer. Well, it's not a word, it's actually an abbreviation or LOE. LOE, LOX, they mean letter of explanation or letter, you know, they both mean letter of explanation, but the LOE stands for LO, letter of explanation. LOX is our abbreviation of it. So if you hear someone say, give me an LOX, if you watch this video, you're never going to say, what? What does that mean? But a lot of our borrowers ask us that because we are so used to talking in that language that we forget that our borrowers don't know what that means. So LOX. LOX means letter of explanation. So what's a letter of explanation? So underwriters are going to ask for a letter of explanation on many different things. Uh, for example, if you share a bank statement with your spouse and she's not going on the loan, they have to write a letter allowing you to have full access to the funds in the joint bank account. It has to address the bank account name and number and you have to say the words full access. So that would be a LOX on joint bank account using the funds. Um, if they find something, a large deposit, they want you to source it. So sourcing that means showing a copy of the check and writing an LOX on what that check was for and the underwriter will determine if the money's good. If you had late payments on the credit cards and they think it's a bad sign for the loan but you still get approved eligible, they're gonna want to put a letter of explanation there what happened with that credit card. And if you say something wrong, then the underwriter may deem the file no good. So it's very care you, know, you want to be very careful writing your LOXs. You never want to say that I hated this so-and-so bank, they were evil, so I said F you to them, I'm not going to pay them. If you say that on an LOX, you're not going to get a loan. So you have to come up with your, a good reason. Don't, don't be derogatory towards banks. You know, so, you know, it was Christmas time, it, I thought my wife paid the bill. Um, sorry, but that's not going to happen, it was one off. Oh, my son was sick in the hospital for the last three months. I got behind and I, we were really stressed out. LOXs are something that goes along the lines of like that. So your letter of explanation has to be, you know, something sad or excusable and has to make sense to the underwriter. And sometimes if it's elaborate and it's a really crucial part of the loan, they may ask for supporting documents to support your LOX. So be careful on what you write. Again, don't be derogatory towards the banks. Uh, sometimes they find um, addresses in your background checks. They want to know what those addresses mean to you. Sometimes they don't always show up in your credit report. They find some address, they think you own it. Uh, maybe you have a similar name as someone else. Maybe it's your dad, that you're junior and senior. So you have to write a letter of explanation on that. So LOXs in general are not crucial to the underwriting system, but they have to go in the file. And uh, a lot of my customers panic when they have to write these letters. Don't panic, it's paper pushing. <laughs> We're just paper pushing for the underwriter. These letters always are addressed to whom we may concern. They always have to be um, dated and signed. So remember that. Sign, date, to make concern. Not too elaborate on basic LOXs. Uh, when it comes to really derogatory credit, really bad stories like maybe why you went bankrupt, you want to be a little more elaborate. But when it comes to simple ex explanations, keep it short and sweet. Um, don't be, don't panic. You don't have to write a novel. Um, and that's the that's the skinny on LOXs and LOEs and letters of explanation. So if you got any questions, go to GustinShow.com. We write a lot of blogs on this. If you want to call me, I'll help you out with this anytime at 630-915-755. Thank you.